Hey everyone, welcome back to Wall Moonlight Vlogs, or hello if you're new. My name is Raven, and this week is chapter 40, which is so weird to think. I've been working on this series for almost a year. So to start the week off, I was working out with Daisy. She kind of goes back and forth between wanting to be a cheerleader who just sits on the side and licks her toes, or has to sit on my face, which that will be in this video too, just in case you wanted some good quality content. I made an Amazon order the week before this, and it included mostly stuff for, that I got for the channel, and some stuff for my coffee bar, because, well, that's self-explanatory. But anyways, I got some craft supplies to use in some of the videos that I have planned. Some of them are already growing, going up. And I also got some camera stuff. So here I am setting up the camera supplies that I got. I got this mount that is supposed to attach to a table top surface. And I have been using that to film the Avatar series that I have been uploading for two weeks now, going on three, and I thought this would be a really great way to get over the shoulder footage of me crocheting because I feel like that is the most flattering angle. I feel like when I was doing it in front of, when I had my camera tripod in front of me, I just didn't think it was as interesting, I guess. But this was about $25. I found it on Amazon and it was a lot cheaper than the tripods with the extendable arm so that's an option if you're looking to make videos like that i thought it was kind of cool really been trying to make use of how nice and cozy my office space is now. If you missed the last couple of vlogs, I've been rearranging my office space so that I can crochet in here and it feels more like a craft room and not just an office. There's still a lot that I want to change in this room, particularly the wall color, but it feels so nice in here to have all of the blankets and the pillows and the candles going and I, I really love it. And also I have a TV in here so I can watch TV while I crochet now. Oh, it's been really wonderful and I'm trying to use it and take advantage of it and make sure I'm appreciating it properly and also sharing it with you guys so that you can get in on the coziness even when I am working really late at night because everything has gone wrong possible with a video. And even Zach has been enjoying the space in here now. If on the days that I do have everything go wrong with a video and I'm up really late, he's been sitting in here with me, which is really nice because I get lonely. I get very lonely. <laughs>
So during the weekend we went out to run some errands and then we found out that there was a spirit halloween store open not in our area but in, within driving distance so we went to go visit because it's spirit halloween and 2020 means you need any reason to look forward to something and there were so many cool freaking things and if i had an endless budget i would have bought so many things but I wanted to make sure I at least shared some of it with you. There were some really cool jump scare animate and not animated animatronic things and they had a lot of Sammy from Trick or Treat stuff and oh, I, I really enjoyed their selection this year and there, there were some things that I want for my office year round <laughs> but it was really nice to just like make a trip out there. This was a couple of weeks ago if you haven't been paying attention to the timeline. I, I post vlogs about two weeks after I vlog the footage, so this was in August. We went out to Spirit Halloween in August, and I love this selection in general with like all of the pentacles and the moons. Oh, I think it's so pretty. The colors, it's so perfect. I need it for my office. This was the jump and scare that actually scared me the most because I didn't think it was going to stand up and it got closer to me than I expected. I also got some pens when we went into Office Depot, which I didn't show because it was Office Depot. I thought it was kind of boring. And I'm going to include a little test of the erasable pens. I didn't like them. I ended up giving them to Zach, which it worked out. There was, I was emotionally invested in this pen saga which I'm not ashamed to say. I really love pens. Also, I wanted to show taking down the setup from when I crochet and do my crochet videos because I thought it was interesting. I really like when other YouTubers show taking, like, you know, how their setup looks when they're using it. So I hope you guys like it too. <laughs> a few clips back before the weekend footage had started, I finished the Chloe Ting Hourglass Challenge, which was really a cool experience to try. And so I decided to start another one. And in order to make it easier for me to figure out what workouts go when and not have to jump on her website every day, I saved the links to my calendar <laughs> and I I thought it was I thought it was cool and I thought it was worth mentioning. I feel like the system really worked well for me and uh, I did it with the first challenge and I'm doing it again. 
We went to Walmart to look at some things for the house, like just small things like blinds and such because we need blinds in our kitchen really bad. And we also ended up grabbing some more fall candles and I found my favorite erasable pen for like half the price at Walmart than it was at Office Depot. So the end of the pen saga is here. I was also really craving Taco Bell quesaritos which I've only had once. I had them right before they announced they were taking them off the menu and I was like, oh, these are amazing, these are awesome. And then I saw that they were taking them down. I was like, why? Why is this happening? <laughs> so we made, I don't think this is at all similar to a quesarito, but we made a quesadilla with like refried beans and cheese and black beans and rice. And I think we might've had some shredded chicken on it. I don't remember and there was salsa and, I don't know what you would properly call this, but it was really good and it definitely helped with my Taco Bell craving. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, I would, I would do this again. It was so good. So to finish off the weekend and get ready for a new week, I ended up starting the Chloe, Chloe, <laughs> the Chloe Ting Summer Shred Challenge. I think this one's from this year. And I hated this workout, not because of anything wrong with the workout, but it was 97% humidity and so gross and so hard to breathe. And I am not a cardio person. Obviously I need it and I am enjoying the workouts now but like the high humidity nights are so hard and while i was working out zach was making brownies because balance this is balance i would like to call it balance he was making the good brownies too it was Ghirardelli double fudge brownies and now i want brownies cool <laughs> tried to record an outro like three times. Words are really hard. I hope you guys enjoyed this week. Thank you for hanging out with me. Please make sure to hit subscribe if you like these cozy vlogs. I post them every week. I post three times a week and I will see you guys on Monday with another avatar video. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.